Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at the uh, ADC block for uh, model based design in MATLAB Simulink for this particular DSP TITMS 320F28335. So how to do the settings uh, uh, for um, embedded coder and all those videos are uh, there in my channel so you can watch that so once that is done <coughs> we can get this adc block just uh, type adc for matlab version 16 and above you can directly type in here or otherwise you'll have to go to library browser and then from there you have to so you can see first one is 280 so this particular 2833x so you will get this block let me just delete this so here for now you can see just one channel a now you want more channels say for uh, you are uh, wanting to run some closed loop so for that you need to send uh, two currents a uh, two phase currents r phase y phase some voltages or some other analog values so for that you need multiple analog channels. So first we'll see just this module. So in this one you have got A0, B0, A and B both. So for this particular DSP, it's a, uh, uh, it is having two channels. Okay, two channels, A and B channel. So these are there then for a we have from a0 a0 to a7 that is total of eight numbers and second you have second you have is b0 to b7 again eight so total of 16 ADCs are there for this particular DSP. Okay, analog to digital converter. So this is one module and this is another module. So let us go to the settings. So module you have got A and B and now why they have written A and B both. So three options are available, we will see. So these you can see here you have got two options. Sequential start of uh, conversion mode. Conversion mode means uh, when ADCs are sampled and converted to digital value so that you have got sequential and simultaneous so what sequential you means one by one sequential means one by one and so sequential means one after other and simultaneous will be at, at the same time same time conversion okay so sequential and simultaneous so you have two option here now when we choose sequential then uh, start a conversion let's uh, fix it to software itself sample time will depend data type uint 16 and so on so now go, going to the input channel if we choose just one you can see this option is disabled use multiple output ports if you apply then you will see just this one likewise if you choose b and go here and apply you will see this gets converted to b and it's b0 only if you choose two then you can see this b0 b1 and also this option gets enabled now if I don't tick it and just do it, you can see it's just one. So here then you'll we'll have to use DMUX uh, to get the two signals B0 and B1. Whereas if I choose this option and apply, you can see you have got B0 and B1. So that is the use of this one. Okay, so A0, B0 modules are understood now sequential now if we have one and if i choose simultaneous you can see 
A and B is automatically selected and you don't have any option. So why simultaneous? Simultaneous means at the same time. And also if we go to this option, you can see A0, B0, A1, B1. And if I choose 3, A2, B2. So what does that mean? This means that this A0 and B0 are sampled simultaneously at the same time. And thereafter, it will sample A0 and B0 again at the same time. And then it will sample A2 and B2 at the same time. So this particular conversion is simultaneous, but this particular conversion is one by one. That is sequential. Understood? So this is the use of that simultaneous. If I make it sequential, you have all three options. But if I make it simultaneous, then both A and B will be sampled at the same time. So if I apply, you can see it's all. If I choose this one, you will have multiple options. Now, what is the use of simultaneous conversion? Sequentially, I've understood it's one by one simultaneous conversion so at times we need to sample say for synchronous sampling methods you can read it more on google or some journal so in case of synchronous sampling you need to need to sample sampling currents at same instant so for such application you need this option simultaneous option okay so here you can see a0 b0 a1 b1 so these two currents i am sampling a0 and b0 at the same time okay and uh, so my uh, uh, phase A current and phase B current, they will be sampled at the same time or same instance. But if you are not bothered about the synchronous sampling, then you can go for simultaneous sampling. So this is how you have to do the settings. So this is all for this video, later on we will see some other blogs, thank you.